Go on. Good evening. My name is Richard Cash, R-I-C-H-A-R-D-C-A-S-H. And this is my partner of five and a half years, Craig Ross, C-R-A-I-G-R-O-S-S. We testified at the first hearing in New Brunswick and attended the second hearing in Blackwood. We want to thank the chairman and the commission members for the professionalism you've demonstrated conducting these hearings and commend you for the job you're doing. Craig and I are among the dozens of couples who have testified at these hearings about employers refusing to recognize our civil unions. We are here tonight to give you an update on our situation and to tell you that we are tired of waiting for marriage equality. We attempted to file a complaint with the New Jersey Division on Civil Rights, exactly as this commission suggested at the first two hearings. Craig and I had an initial intake interview with a representative of the division. Tonight, we can report to you that the Division on Civil Rights has told us that at this time, there is nothing it can do to help us. The division also told us it cannot compel Craig's employer to recognize us as civil union partners and to provide us equal benefits under the law. The division points out, as many others at these hearings have also pointed out, that a federal law called ERISA provides many employers in New Jersey with a perfect legal loophole whereby they do not have to follow the civil union law. Tonight, we'd like to tell you how fed up we are. Um, my name is Craig Ross, C-R-A-I-G, Ross, R-O-S-S. -S. Um, we're fed up with being told by opponents of marriage equality that passing marriage equality in New Jersey would make no difference because of ERISA. These hearings have proven, to be to proven that to be totally untrue. At the first hearing, experts from Massachusetts testified that employers there are not using ERISA loophole to recognize to, to avoid recognizing same-sex marriages. In Massachusetts, the per persuasive weight of the word marriage, a word that everyone understands, is enough to influence Massachusetts employers to do the right thing, whereas too many New Jersey employers refuse to do so. We're fed up with being told by opponents of marriage equality that if New Jersey just gives civil unions the civil union law time, civil unions will eventually be recognized here just like marriage. These hearings have also proven that to be untrue. At the first hearing, experts from Vermont testified that today, seven and a half years after Vermont's civil union law took effect, civil unions in Vermont still don't work like marriage. We're fed up with opponents of marriage equality who claim the failure of the civil union law is exaggerated only because a handful of civil union couples have filed complaints of discrimination with the state government. This is an insult to the truth that this commission has seen with its very eyes. Dozens of civil union couples, couples from every part of New Jersey, have come forth at these hearings to describe their experiences with their employers, refusing to recognize their civil unions. These couples alone represent an exponentially higher number than those who have successfully filed complaints with the Division on Civil Rights. Couples are afraid of employer retaliation if they file or attempt to file official complaints. In fact, couples have testified at these hearings and have still chosen not to contact the division. And given our own experience where the Division on Civil Rights has told us that there's nothing that can, it can do to help us, why would any couple want to waste the time of filing a complaint when the only consequence may indeed be employer retaliation? Let's face it, given reports that ERISA applies to as many as two-thirds of all employers in New Jersey, the numbers being reported times up to report the numbers being reported by one minute. One minute. Let's face it, given reports that ERISA applies to as many as two-thirds of all employers in New Jersey, the numbers being reported by advocacy organizations of the civil union law's failure are grossly gross underestimates, if anything. We're fed up with being told by opponents of marriage equality that they don't believe the civil union law is harming same-sex couples in New Jersey. How would our opponents know? They've either boycotted or chosen not to participate in the first two hearings. They can't have it both ways. They can't say that the failure of the civil union law isn't a problem, yet refuse to attend or participate in the hearings that clearly illustrate there is a problem. Finally, we're fed up with being told by opponents of marriage equality that the outcome of this commission is predetermined to recommend marriage equality. 
If this commission reaches the conclusion that there is no way to fix the failed civil union law other than to replace it with marriage equality, it's not because this commission is biased. It's because this commission saw the mountain of evidence and has accepted the truth before its eyes. Thank you. Thank you.